You're watching the Kansas City Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Today's show is presented by Aura, an all-in-one digital safety tool that's going to keep you secure online. Hackers are more prevalent than ever. Get started today with a 14-day free trial at Aura.com slash Chat Sports. That is Aura.com slash Chat Sports. Get that 14-day free trial today. Appreciate everybody for clicking on today's show. Got some news and rumors to get into uh, coming out of training camp. And uh, we got to start with some roster cut news because all NFL rosters have to trim from 90 to 85 by 3 o'clock Central Time tomorrow. And Lonnie Johnson, uh, the most notable cut up to this point. He was released this morning as teams have cut down to 85 players or start to. And... Listen, what does this tell me? This tells me that the Chiefs really like their young corners. They already cut DeAndre Baker. Now Lonnie Johnson, who they traded a seventh-round pick for. I need to go back and look and uh, see if that was a conditional pick. But regardless, they brought him in thinking he could compete for a roster spot, and he's gone after the first round of cuts here because they like what they have. With Rashad Fenton coming back, you've got Trent McDuffie and Legereus Sneed as well. Those are probably going to be your three starters, although Jalen Watson's been pushing for a starting role, got reps with the ones today. They like Joshua Williams. I think even Nazi Johnson is someone they've been impressed with as well, the seventh-round pick out of Marshall. There's four, five, six corners they really, really like, and they said, you know what? We'll go ahead and cut DeAndre Baker last week we'll cut Lonnie Johnson now give those two guys who have been around a few years a chance to land elsewhere uh, I think this is a good thing when a guy like Lonnie Johnson gets cut this early that tells me that they like what they have at that cornerback position now are you surprised that already DeAndre Baker and Lonnie Johnson have been cut these are two guys that after the Johnson trail is like well they'll probably both make this roster and now they're already gone type Y for yes Type in for no. Are you surprised that both of these vet corners have already been released? Now, the other cuts up to this point for Kansas City uh, include wide receiver Gary Jennings. Shout out Dov Kleiman for uh, getting uh, this no. Omar Bayless and offensive tackle Evan Kazirsik. Uh Also, uh, the Danny Shelton signing has become official. More on that a little bit later on as well. Like I mentioned earlier, tomorrow at 3 o'clock Central, all rosters in the NFL have to be at 85 players or less. So you're seeing a lot of guys get cut today, players that are on the move uh, around the National Football League. Chiefs certainly no exception up to this point. So we'll have to wait and see who else is on the way out. Four players cut, Shelton uh, actually signed now. So I think a couple more players need to get cut if my math is right. Shout out to Aura for sponsoring today's show. I told you guys they're an online digital safety provider and they offer tons of benefits. Financial fraud protection. Listen, your online banking's getting hacked all the time. We do everything online in terms of shopping uh, as well. Identity theft protection. Hackers, millions and millions of accounts got hacked last year and their IDs got stolen. You don't want that to happen. It's a pain in the you know what to figure it out. They've got family uh, plans up to five people or more. Hackers are out there more than ever. As we do more online, uh, the more uh, exposed you can be in terms of your information being stolen. No longer with Aura. Go to Aura.com slash chat sports. 14 day free trial today. You won't regret it. Go check them out. Link is in the comments and in the description to stay safe online forever. Get going with Aura. Speaking of staying safe, how about Justin Watson? Is he safe on the 53-man roster? I hope he's gotten going with Aura. He'll stay safe online. I think he is safe on the 53-man. He was getting reps with the first-team offense at practice today for Kansas City, and that's coming off a really nice uh, little debut for the Chiefs uh, with Watson. Five catches, 45 yards, and a touchdown. Nice little strike from Shane Bouchelle to Watson in that second quarter before halftime against Chicago. I thought he looked really, really good. He's making this football team. Justin Watson is going to make the 53-man roster. If he's already getting work with the ones now, unless he just shits the bed over the next couple of weeks, he's probably going to make this team. I even saw a tweet from a reporter saying he's looked better than Marquez Valdez-Scantling has. 
Darren Camp. Now, I'm not going to put him above him on the depth chart. This is the unofficial depth chart, the top four that the Chiefs released before the Bears game. But uh, anything can happen. Anything can change. We've talked about this for months now. While this wide receiver room may lack a true number one, there's four, five, six guys that are going to compete and play hard. And I think Justin Watson is in that category now. I would say he's comfortably wide receiver five at this point in time. And then guys like Darius Fountain and Cornell Powell and Josh Gordon are on the bubble, although I don't think things are looking great for Mr. Gordon at this point in time. So I'll ask you, is Watson a lock to make this Chiefs team? It's close. I don't know if he's quite a lock yet, but he's pretty secure. Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. If you think he's a lock, go ahead and type 1. If you think not yet, need to see more, type 2 for no. Make sure you guys subscribe to us here at the Kansas City Chiefs Report. You know you want to hit that big red subscribe button because you're joining over 30,000 other ch members of Chiefs Kingdom who have already done so. And plus, if you're a real one, then you're a subscriber. So go ahead and hit that sub button today. We'll continue to provide training camp updates, the latest news and rumors, and watch parties. we got one coming up this Saturday against the Washington Commanders. More info on that throughout the week. All right, more camp news and updates here on the show. Danny Shelton, who officially signed today, did get out there at St. Joseph in practice. And I knew he was a big boy, but my God, he is massive. Just look at him. He is he, He's listed at 345 pounds. And there was a little clip on Twitter that surfaced of him doing some drills. He looks agile, too, at that size. He could be a real guy that has an impact on this defensive line that already looked great against the Bears, by the way. George Karloftis, the rookie, whew, I think he's going to be a player. Uh, but Danny Shelton uh, should come in here, give you some uh, support, especially against the run. Excited about that. He finally got out there in practices. Uh, okay, Isaiah Pacheco, kid continues to show out. Uh, Th 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 this kid, it's beyond a what if at this point. He is going to have a role on this football team. He is safe. Did you guys notice how quickly he checked out of the game in the, in the preseason opener against the Bears? That tells me his roster spot is secure. He's going to play and possibly play a lot for this football team. I really, really think that it is not a foregone conclusion that by midway through the season, this is your best running back, if not sooner. I think that is possible. I think he's done everything well. He apparently uh, drew some oohs and ahs during some drills today at open training camp with fans there. It's, uh, it's exciting. They may have found a gem in the seventh round, and quite frankly, if they have, this is just another reason why not that Clyde edwards lair has been a total disaster, but you don't need to draft a running back in the first round. You just don't need to. They found this kid in the seventh round, and he might unseat edwards lair at some point. I am so fired up about this guy. By the way, Choo Choo, are you on the hype train for Isaiah Pacheco? If you're not, it's leaving the station, so you better hop on board. You know, you, you see those scenes in movies where you're trying to run down the train, uh, down the tracks. Uh, you better hustle up because that thing is accelerating away. Get on the hype train. Type me if you are on the Isaiah Pacheco hype train and join the rest of us because we've been here for a couple of weeks. All right, uh, last one here. Rashad Fenton is really back. Uh, got cleared from in, uh, the pop list last week, but uh, had a nice practice today. Uh, at, showed some swagger. Apparently, P.J. Green, who's been there uh, at camp practices, says uh, he was jawing with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey after dropping a pick. Uh, jumped a route, almost snagged one there, so uh, that's uh, exciting as well. We talked about it earlier. This cornerback back room, man, it's, it's got big potential. If you're cutting uh, Baker and Johnson this early, that means you got other guys that you like. I mean, we already know about McDuffie and Fenton and Legereus Sneed, but Jalen Watson, Nazi Johnson, Joshua Williams. I mean, there's real competition at corner within this team, and uh, with Fenton back in the mix, that only creates a stronger uh, group at that position. All right, appreciate everybody for tuning in to the Chiefs report. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we'll have a live Chiefs versus Commanders watch party coming up on Saturday, and of course, videos throughout the week as well. So go ahead and subscribe right now.